Dream Lords The Reawakening is a unique mix of massively multiplayer online games and real-time strategy. It's free to play and consists of two modules. One client software based for intense battles and conquering and one plug-in free web based for the long-term strategy. This is very practical for those who enjoy some gaming during breaks at work or at school. You will play a Dream Lord, a powerful collection of souls from ancient times, awakened by the turmoil and suffering of the living. Your personal goal is to raise a powerful civilization, lead an army, conquer land, and grow in strength so that you might stand up against the mighty nightmares that threatens to unleash the Needham Wolven, sinus of ultimate destruction. During your journey, you will have to gather Gnosis to gain strength. Gnosis is the attention of the dreamer, the highest and most absolute of gods. It is the purest form of energy in Elysian. Everything is dependent on it to live, especially dream lords. In the client software part of the game, you will find a visual representation of your patria, which for a long time has been ravaged by creatures of the dark so-called nightmares. By clearing your land from monsters, you will venture deeper and deeper into unexplored territories. If you are successful, you will find valuable treasures on the way. Since everything in the world consists of Gnosis, gains of any kind will constitute sources of power and evolve your being. Also in the client software, you can chat and socialize with other awakened Dream Lords of Elysian, as well as challenge them in combat. If you are a member of a Convergence, Dream Lords equivalents to a guild, you will also have access to the various uninhabited islands where you can claim and colonize territories. The combat in Dream Lords The Reawakening involve fast-paced, real-time strategy battles in which all your preparations via empire management and long-term decisions will be put to the test. Combine different kinds of units, gear and abilities and create your best strategy to overcome your enemy. To aid your avatar in the war against the nightmares, you will need to raise an army. Whereas the actual training of the troops is done in the client, it is your decisions in the Patria Manager that decides what you can train and equip. It's in the Patria Manager you make your long-term decisions and shape your own path of progression. Here you can construct buildings, employ and specialize your population and research new technologies. Certain technologies also give you various amounts of trait points that can be used in the corresponding Dream Lord trait tree. Traits are persistent bonuses that can augment both you as a Dream Lord, your Patria and your people. In Dream Lords The Reawakening, it is advantageous to cooperate with other Dream Lords. This is done by forming so-called convergences and working towards a common goal. Within a convergence, you can exchange strategies using either your own in-game chat channel or using your private convergence forum. You can also trade items with other convergence members and set up a system of resource gatherers, crafters, fighters and so forth. As you accumulate more Gnosis, you will stand out as a beacon of hope in the eyes of the mortals. More people from around your Patria will want to become your followers, eager to work or to join your army. You are the soul of the land, and as more people nurture it, you will grow stronger and reach higher levels. The game is endless, but divided into eras. Every day, Needham Wolven gets closer and eventually it might devour the world and bring everything to an end. But there is hope. Kale, signs of time and master of eras, will use all his power to turn back time as the end approaches if he deems no Dream Lord strong enough for the task at hand. When the material world is completely reverted to the beginning, forcing you to start building your civilization anew, Kale deliberately lets you keep your traits and gear so that you may continue to grow even stronger the next era. Who knows, 
Maybe you will try a different approach this time around.